This is it. It all comes down to this. This is the Super Bowl. At least that's the way everybody's been acting. Look, I get it. Derrick Henry, he's going to eat. But I think his dessert is going to be a big, fat L. Packers are going to win this one. It might be a track meet, but I'm going to say Packers 41, Titans 34. We've got this. Chill out. I'm not afraid of anybody. The only running back anybody should be afraid of is Aaron freaking Jones. Go, back go. What's up, Chief Said TV? Brandon Carwell here. Huge week 16 game on tap for Sunday night. Packers versus the Tennessee Titans. Um, we all know Derrick Henry versus this run defense is going to be the focal point. Um, but I think the defense is actually starting to hit their stride a little bit. I think they're going to create a huge turnover. And then when I look at Green Bay's offense against this, you know, kind of uh, lackluster Tennessee defense, I think they're going to be able to put up some points. I think they're going to edge this one out 28 to 24. Hey everyone, it's Sarah Kelher and I am looking forward to my final but maybe best of all Christmas gift this year and that is the Green Bay Packers and the Tennessee Titans on Sunday Night Football this week. I think it's going to be a high scoring one. These are two of the top offenses in the league battling up against each other. A lot of people are worried about Derrick Henry and Packers defense, but the Titans should be worried about Aaron Rodgers and Green Bay's offense too. I'm going to take Green Bay in this one. It's going to be a high scoring one, a lot of back and forth, but the Packers are winning this one 37-34. Go Pack Go! Hey guys, it's Dusty coming to you from Balmy, Kentucky. Uh, we're talking about the upcoming Packers game this weekend against the Titans. I know everyone's scared of a certain someone I will not name over on the Titans side, but we have our own boogeyman. Mr. Baba Yaga, Mr. Aaron Rodgers. I'm gonna go Packers, uh, I don't know. We'll go, let's go 38-28, let's do it big. Packers jump out early. Uh, Titans have a hard time getting on, getting on track there. Tannehill has a decent game, Henry has a decent game, but they don't kill him. Packers win and then head into week 17, looking to just, just make sure that bye is clinched unless things shake our way. So happy holidays, everyone. Really looking forward to celebrating a big Packers victory this weekend. Hey everybody, it's Tim Backus. A lot of people have been scared of the Titans for a while, and I get it. Derrick Henry's a monster. But at the same time, the Titans don't have any defense at all. I think Aaron Rodgers is going to have a field day carving up this secondary with no pass rush to affect him. And I think the Packers get out with a high-scoring victory over a high-quality opponent. 38-30. to Go Pack Go. Cheers and happy holidays. How's it going, everybody? Big game Sunday night against the Titans. And a lot of you are worried about Derrick Henry. Understandable. But let me remind you, week three against the Saints, Alvin Kamara had 197 total yards against us, and we still won that game. That game was on the road. This game's at home. Packers are going to come out and show why getting that number one seed is so important. They're going to get a hard-fought victory, 38-31. to Go Pack Go. Gil Martin here. Packers, Titans, possible Super Bowl preview at Lambeau Sunday Night Football. This one's going to be a shootout. The problem for me is... I don't see the Packers stopping Derrick Henry. Stopping the run has been tough for the Packers. This is a team that runs the ball first and passes it second. It's going to be close, but I think the Titans win this one 41-38. Hey there, Packer fans. Jersey Al here with your Packers-Titans prediction. I uh, picked a couple of blowouts the last couple of games, and needless to say, they did not happen, although they probably should have. Uh, this game, certainly no way to pick a blowout here in either direction. Both teams made it to the conference championship last year and, and lost. Uh, this is going to be a tough match. I do think that what's going to happen in this game is things you don't expect. Players will, are going to step up that normally aren't the ones that will, and the big names will probably will not play as well as, as they can. It's going to be one of those weird games, I have a feeling. but. In the end, I do think the Packers are the best team, and I'm gonna pick Green Bay to pull it out, 31 to 27. Go Pack Go. What's up, Chiefs heads? This is Paul Brettel. Whew, it's a tough one. Titans have Derrick Henry, monster. At receiver, they have A.J. Brown and Corey Davis. Duo has over 1,800 combined receiving yards this season. The Titans are gonna put up points, but you know what? So are the Green Bay Packers. I don't think what's getting talked about enough is that this Titans defense isn't very good. In most major statistical categories, they're near the bottom of the NFL. They give up a lot of passing yards, a lot of points, and they don't pressure the quarterback. It's going to be a tough game, a close game, but I do think that the Green Bay Packers at home, in the cold, come out on top. Green Bay Packers 34, Tennessee Titans 31. How's everybody doing? It's Corey. Merry Christmas, everybody. Just want to let you know I got my family pajamas on here, and they are... Absolutely fantastic. You know, everybody's talking about 
the Titans Packers and the first person that always gets mentioned is Derrick Henry but I think that when you talk about this matchup what needs to be mentioned is the Tennessee defense they're one of the worst pass rushing teams in the league by only getting to the passer 7% of the time and they are absolutely awful against play action which is odd because the Titans offensively rely on the play action the Titans are giving up 16 catches a game to wide receivers so look for plenty of Play action post patterns for the Packers. My pick, Packers 26, Titans 20. Have a great weekend, everybody. Hey, Packer Nation. Dave Mikowski here with my Week 16 pick for this game against the Titans. I think it really just comes down to whether the Packers can stop Derrick Henry or not. Well, you're not going to stop him. Can you contain him? Can you contain him to 120 yards and a touchdown? If they can, I think they got a really good shot to win. If not, and they give up a lot of chunk plays, not going to happen. Uh, if the Packers want to win this game, Derrick Henry's got to get his with about 30 carries. Got to get volume carries. Got to make him earn the yards. If not, it's going to set up Ryan Tannehill in play action uh, to skill players, Corey Davis, John o. Smith, and it could get ugly. Conversely, for the Packers, they just got to keep doing what they're doing. Got to see a lot of 12 to 17, both in chunk plays and in screen plays. And they got to get the running game going with Aaron Jones to set up play action. At the end of the day, I think that Tennessee is just too much for the Packers. I think they don't contain Derrick Henry like they need to. I think Derrick Henry could have a 200 yard game, honestly. And I think the Tennessee Titans win in a uh, barn burner 35 31 go back up hey everyone i'm ken lance packers against the titans i think the key to this game is going to be the packers defense stopping tennessee from controlling the ball on third down the packers are going to be hurting for possessions in this game because the Titans like to use Derrick Henry and then the play action fake off of Derrick Henry for Tanny Hill's good passing attack to AJ Brown and to Corey Davis. They do a great job of converting on third down. They pull off long ball possession drives. Are we gonna be able to get enough possessions to stay in the game? So if our defense can stop them on third down, I think we're in pretty good shape. Deep down inside, in my heart of hearts, I think we're probably going to lose this game. But I'm going to pick this game with my heart instead of my head. I'm going to take Green Bay to win a shootout 35-31. Go Pack Go!